A thing I love about Alaska is that many of the hunting seasons last nearly the whole year. This seems to have created a culture of opportunistic hunters. Many of the time when I'm out with friends, they will carry a gun, just in case they see something they might like to bring home to their family. For the next two weeks, I will be moose hunting. Moose hunting is a game of patience, which is something I'm not very good at. I am a huge fan of grouse hunting, however, which requires a lot less patience. And spruce grouse happen to share the same habitat as moose. A thing that I have thought about is bringing a second gun for grouse while I moose hunt. But there are two problems with that. One, a second gun is super loud and I think it'll probably scare away all the moose. And two, I just don't want to carry an extra gun. I've thought of a solution to both of these problems though. My dog found this moose antler in the springtime and it had a big paddle, but over the course of the summer, he chewed it down until just this was left. And to me, that looks just like a slingshot, these thick parts. So I ordered some fancy bands, cold weather slingshot bands. And I'm gonna finish carving this down, cut out the center and uh, turn it into a slingshot. So step one is I'm gonna use this Wyoming saw that a friend gave me to try and cut the center of the paddle out and just leave the arms. So that's kind of a nice shape. I think that I could shoot that. Now I just need to round over these edges and smooth everything out. I do a fair amount of reshaping, especially in this area right here, because I want the rubber bands to kind of roll over and not have to go over anything that's sharp. So once I did that, the next thing I have to do is create grooves for the rubber bands that hold the slingshot bands so that they don't want to slide up and come off. So about half an inch down the spindle, I'm just going to cut grooves for this rubber band to sit in. So there's my grooves, and now just in an effort to make it pretty, I'm going to sand a ring around the bottom and taper these edges, and uh, just clean it up everywhere that I can.
Sweet. All right, it shoots great. I'm gonna carry this with me tomorrow on my moose hunt and hopefully get a grouse. I've joined forces today with my friend Matt, who is a traditional bow hunter. And so we both brought our dogs and we're hunting the grouse. And Matt shot one. He shot one with a judo point out of a tree. And we didn't expect the judo point to go through the bird, but it did. And it just about destroyed the whole bird. This bow that Matt is shooting is 65 pounds, which is just maybe a little bit too much for a grouse. Sure is pretty though. Moose season is over now, and this has become an activity that my dog and I do together almost every day. I usually get one or two shots a day, and though I've grazed birds, I haven't had any direct hits. I can't believe I did it. I got this big, beautiful grouse with a freaking slingshot. Check that out. I way underestimated how hard this challenge would be, but this has taken me a month to finally get it done. I've shot at so many birds and I finally hit this one and just dropped out of a tree. I was so surprised I couldn't say anything. But look at that. Check this guy out. A nice rooster. See his eyebrows. Such a beautiful bird. With a moose antler slingshot that my dog found. I can't believe it. Okay, so I've completed this challenge. I'm done grouse hunting with a slingshot because not only is it frustrating me, it's frustrating my bird dog. He does a great job pointing 10 to 15 birds a day. And uh, I haven't brought one home in a long time until today. And he wasn't even with me while I shot that bird. So I'm going to head into the mountains and start ptarmigan hunting with a caribou antler slingshot. But with the bird dog around, I think I'm gonna switch back to the shotgun just so I can restore his faith in my shooting. I'm not very good at this, but the guy that gave me this idea, his name is Michael Sturm, I think. I'll link his YouTube channel in the description. He is very good at this. And if you guys want to see somebody be very successful with a slingshot here in Alaska, 
um, you should check out his videos. The link is down below. Sure is pretty here. 